Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Good evening, everybody. You're looking live here with Bear River Live as we get ready for spring sports to begin. Had a year off due to the pandemic. Exactly a year to go today. The health organization called it a pandemic, shut everything down. That was including high school sports. So we are excited to bring you Lady Bears Lacrosse. They'll be taking on the Pace and Lions tonight. Kicking off their season opener. We'd like to thank our sponsors and like to thank you as well for watching and supporting us that way. As both teams just go through there required checks here by the refs and we'll get this one going so I'm interested to see who steps up for the Lady Bears in scoring you had Taylor Shelton graduate last year Some hiccups along the way in this live stream. We do apologize, but it's the first time out of the gym. Looking down the roster, you we have uh, Top of the Handsome returning from last year. You probably heard. I think he only got two seniors. Two seniors. Bailey Bjorn. And it looks like Cambry Adams. Your only seniors here for the Lady Bears. I don't think you got any seniors over on Payson's side. You've got one, two, three, four, five. Excuse me, they've got two as well. Ellie Smith and Emma Peterson. For Payson is a senior. So two young teams going at it here for the season opener. We're going to try our best calling out people's names. We're going to be a little bit... Slow being the first game of the season. Payson <laughs> checks out all good. Three more players here for the Lady Bears to get ready to go in this one. Bradley Potter looks to be in the goalie gear for the Lady Bears. 
sophomore. Sydney. Oh, that's Lady Bear to get done. Here with the stick chicks. We'll try to keep you out of the sun. As it starts setting here in Garland, Utah. Breezy, chilly spring. Goalie for the Lady Bears, shutting out in the goal will be number 15, Haley Larson Jr. here for the Lady Bears. Holly Johnson, Jr. goalie here for the Lions. Haley Bjorn to face off here for the Lady Bears. We are underway. Lions with the possession and a whistle. Going against the Lady Bears. Lions keep possession. With a good shot, but she'll get a whistle for a block. Two fouls against the Lady Bears early in this one. Possession still with the Lions. A drive and a shot gets blocked. Larson with the block. Clears it out. Ground ball going to be scooped up by the Lady Bears. Here's a pass to the middle. And there's a shot and a goal. First goal of the season here for the Lady Bears will become from a number eight. I'm gonna say that's Brooke Paulson getting the first goal here for the Lady Bears. Bailey back to center of the field there for the Lady Bears with a face off. Going against number nine of Payson. Bjorn wins it. And she will clear it back out as the Lady Bears will set up here on offense. Bjorn with the ground ball. There's a pass, trying to look inside. Defense is closes, back out to Bjorn. It goes out of bounds. It'll go to Payson. And 
and a foul going to be called against Bailey. Sydney Knight with the possession here for the Lions. She'll cross midfield with it here for Payson. Bjorn knocks it out and it goes out of bounds. It'll go to the Lady Bears. Bailey runs down the sideline here for the Lady Bears, gets it back on the other side of the field. Bailey looks for the pass. Deflected away, recovered again by the Lady Bears. They clear it back out up top. Here's a good spin move, shot blocked. And here comes back the Lion, she loses it. Ball still on the ground. And number, goal number two here for the Lady Bears by number eight. Don't have number eight on my roster, might have to ask. For a name. I guessed last time I might be wrong. Marley Kierstead gets two goals here in this one for the Lady Bears. Pacing with the possession, they bring it back and the other way. Passed, away to, or passed ahead to the far side. It goes out of bounds. Possession stays with the Lions. And a whistle. And that one will be a push against the Lady Bears. Far side. Payson still with the possession. They clear a way out. Taken away by the Lady Bears. Lady Bears back on that side of the field. I think that was supposed to be a pass, not on the same page. As Payson's keeper clears it out here for Payson. Ball on the ground, scooped up by Payson. Now a foul will be called against the Lady Bears. Brent Staley with it here for the Payson Lions. Gets this back going again after the foul. Straight away, here's a pass inside and a catch by the keeper here for the Lady Bears. Lady Bears bringing it back down the sideline. A lot of open grass. Pass over far side. Knock loose and out of bounds. It'll go to Payson with the possession behind the net. Still on the ground, scooped up by Payson's number four. And then taken away, Lady Bears with it. And a whistle. And that's going to go against Payson. We'll have a very good opportunity here for the Lady Bears to score.
Burke Polson. Right Waiting for the whistle. Goalie ready for Payson. Pulls with the shot, and there's a, another goal here for the Lady Bears. Excuse me, that was number 27. Brooke Thompson is what I got on the roster. So we take another a look at that one. Ollie Johnson, the keeper here for Payson. And we go back to the face-off. Ball's up and it drops. Scooped up by Polson. Polson trying to get through the defenders. There's a shot, goes right. Out of bounds, and it'll stay here for the Lady Bears behind the net. Lady Bears get it in play, far side. And work it around the perimeter, knock loose, scoop back up. Thompson with it straight away, tries to go into the middle. Here's a quick shot. Kirstead with her third this evening. A great assist by Thompson. So I think my question's been answered. I think Kirstead's going to be your leading scorer taking the place for Shelton from last year. After a substitution here for Payson, we go back to the faceoff here at midfield. Scooped up by the Lady Bears, knocked loose. Here's Payson with it. Yost will draw the foul. Yost still with it here for the Lions. She'll pass it ahead. Gets it over to the far side of the field. Back over to Yost. Pass goes behind the net. Ground ball will be scooped up by the Lady Bears. Ball on the ground again, scooped up. Lady Bears still with the possession, now down on the ground on a whistle, and that will be a penalty against Payson. Getting started again, here with the Lady Bears. Going coast to coast, there's a shot, no good. Scooped up, put back in, Kirstead. They call out a goal. Number four here for Kirstead. And the Lady Bears with the commanding lead. Just Kirstead and Thompson, the only ones here to score for the Lady Bears. And substitution here for the Lady Bears. Tap of the hands and checks out. Looks like they bring in Cambry Adams for the Lady Bears. Mom 
Fire up, control. Uh, still on the ground. And now, now scooped up, knocked down again. There's another ground ball here for the Lady Bears. Defense closes in, passes back out up top. Bjorn on the drive is a shot. Wide right, out of bounds. It'll stay Lady Bears possession. Bjorn draws the defense to her, clears it back out up top. And we're going to have a whistle. And going to have a yellow card. A shot of the head for the Lady Bears. Looks like number 40 will get Sydney Cummings. We'll get the penalty and have to sit out. Possession goes to Payson. Skyler Black to get us going once again now with Payson with the ball. Kate Yost right down the middle of the field here for Payson. Runs into some trouble, passes ahead. Ground ball still on the ground and a whistle will stop that. Penalty goes against the Lady Bears. So now a good opportunity here for Payson. It looks like number 11 has the shot. Caden Sigard resets up top. Taking on Haley Larson. That goalie here for the Lady Bears. Runs in the middle and whistles before this one is shot. They'll reset and try again on the Lady Bears. to end the shutout right here. There's a shot. Defense collapses and a stop. Another save here for the Lady Bears. Passed ahead, scooped up by Payson. And a whistle. We'll go against the Lady Bears. Payson will keep possession. Pedro has it here for the Payson Lions. She'll pass it ahead. Ball on the ground, scooped up again by Payson. Ellie Smith still trying to get it up off the ground. There she's got it. Smith tries to pass it. On the ground again, scoops it back up, popped up. Smith regains control, passed over the head. So it rolls far side, scooped up by the Lady Bears. Whistle will stop the play. It'll be Lady Bear's possession. Might have rolled out of bounds far side. Kirstead making her way through the crowd. There's a shot off the bar. And on the rebound is Payson. Jacobson trying to split up the Defense a little bit. She'll draw a foul on the Lady Bears. Oh, 
This one's tossed ahead. Smith's going to get rocked around. Foul again on the Lady Bears. A lot different than the boys lacrosse where a lot more contact is involved. <laughs> Ellie again here for the Lions. There's a shot blocked. Oh, Lady Bears with a far side. Pass the head, now the ball's on the ground. Ground ball gonna be won by. Pace at number 22, will scoop it up off the ground. Pass the head to get us going again after the whistle stops to play. Ground ball scooped up by Payson. Now down on the ground again, scooped up again. Staley tries to pass it back, taken away by the Lady Bears. Lady Bears working up to the near side of the field. Passed over to the middle. He goes out of bounds behind the net. It'll be Lady Bears of possession still behind the net. Kirsten again. Trying to find a crease. She clears it out and a quick shot. And that one goes in for the Lady Bears. to say Brooke Thompson again. And it was Kirstead, Kirstead with the assist. And the Lady Bears tack on another point already in the lead here in this one. Back at the face off here in the center. So on popped up position. Possession here with the pace and the Lions as a whistle against Bjorn. Anna will bring it up here for the pace and the Lions. Anna making her way to the defense with a shot. And another save here for the Lady Bears, but a whistle. We'll go against the Lady Bears. This looks like a free shot coming. Here for Payson once again. And with a free shot here for the Payson Alliance. Runs it in, and a goal. Anna Hazlett gets the pace of the Lions on the board for the first time. Bounces this one past Haley Larson. Back to the faceoff here in the midfield. Now 
Knocked down by Bjorn, scooped up by Bjorn. She fights her way through the defense, there's a shot, goes left. And the rebound and put back by the Lady Bears. Sydney Wilkinson, I'm gonna say, made that one. As we take another look at it. Seven to one, Lady Bears in the lead. Bjorn back to face off. Popped up, possession goes to Payson. They swing it off far side on the sideline. Knight will pass it straight away. Yost gonna work her way around the defense. Get inside and a block. Ball still on the ground. Ground ball gonna be scooped up. By the Lady Bears then knocked back down. Payson now trying to scoop it up. Lady Bears with the possession, bringing it back across midfield. And she'll drop it, have to dig it back out of the ground, kicks it away from the other players. Payson swarming them. Thompson scoops it up, zigzag through the defense, there's a shot. And it's a goal! Thompson gets a, another goal. Extends the lead eight to one here for the Lady Bears. Back to the face off here with Bjorn for the Lady Bears. A couple substitutions for both teams, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. There's a whistle. Bjorn goes to the ground with it, tries to scoop it up. From her knees, and there's a whistle. A little dangerous play by the Lady Bears. It'll be Payson with the possession. Yost has the ball. And we resume play. Again with Yost, right down the middle of the field. Being chased by the Lady Bears. Contact, no call. Pass far side and a whistle. Going against Lady Bears with a push. Payson will have the possession. Staley with a far side here for the Lions. Free shot here for Payson. Opportunity to put another goal on the board. There's a shot and a block. Larson again. She'll pass it ahead far side. Around everybody, here's a whistle to slow it down. You're gonna have a call against Payson. And 
they call offsides on the Bears, I believe. Bullard passes ahead right in front of us, but taken away by Bjorn. Bjorn with a spin move, brings it back. There's a pass, and that's going to be the end of the first half with your Lady Bears in the lead. Eight to one, and we'll step aside, thank some sponsors, and we will be back for the second half. We like to thank Cookie Crumble for wrapping up our Cookie Crumble half. They are open Monday to Monday, Monday through Thursday, from eight to ten, and on Friday and Saturday they're open from eight to midnight. And this week their lineup is Nutella Mudslide, Milk Chocolate Chip, Chilled Sugar, as always, Raspberry Cheesecake, Macadamia Nut, Ultimate Peanut Butter, all at Crumble Cookie. We'll be back for the second half, don't go anywhere. Having the regional campus here in the community has been the reason that I went back to school. All my classes were in the evenings or late afternoons. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent away from my family, but so worth it. Now I can get the degree that I always dreamed. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and that's going to happen now. My name is Amy Wells, and I'm an Aggie. The Pie Dump at Bar TL Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full... Can you think of anything better than saving money while shopping for groceries? Well, be sure to head into Kent's Market now until March 16th. We've got our spring case lot sale going on. Make sure you check your local ad for the items that are on case lot. There are no limits this time, so be sure to stop in while supplies last. As always, thank you for shopping here at your local Kent's Market. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. sells more than just hot rolls and donuts. They offer a full breakfast and lunch menu Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Breakfast is also served on Saturdays from 7 until noon. Try some deliciousness today. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all-boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co-ed hip-hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun.
Check out the Valley Headliner for stories and updates on your favorite River sports, as well as local government and community events. Stay in Welcome back here to Sally Bow Field, Garland, Utah, from Lady Bears Lacrosse. Wilkinson with oh, one goal in the first, and then the rest, Thompson and Kierstead. See how many more they can get here in the second half. And it has like it's a single goal here for Payson. Bjorn again to face off to start the second half. Yost will bring it up here for the Alliance. Sydney Knight loses it on the ground. Kicked around. Here's a ground ball scooped up by the Lady Bears. Lady Bears will bring it all the way back. Get it knocked down. And a ground ball here for Payson. That one knocked loose and a whistle. Penalty will go against the Lady Bears. Payson again with it, loses it. There's a ground ball scooped up. Still on the ground actually, now scooped up. And by the Lady Bears, Kirstead at it again, gets it to the center, here's a shot and in! Another winner from Kirstead. We go back to midfield. If you want to get a face off. Fun. Gathered up by Bjorn, she wins a face off. Here's a pass over far side. This pass going to be into the center, scooped up by the goalie and cleared out. Yost brings it back the other way here for Payson. She'll pass it ahead. Pa pass too long, scooped up by the Lady Bears. Now Staley trying to recover. The Lady Bears will have it. Come back the other way again. Works it towards the middle of the field. A lot pass, knocked down. Kirstead scoops it up off the ground. And a lot of traffic fights her way through it. And another goal for the Lady Bears. Kirstead just keeps on scoring. <laughs> 10 to 1 here for the Lady Bears. Back to the center midfield for the face off. Change up in the face off. Looks like Sydney Wilkinson will do the honors here for the Lady Bears. Last minute substitution here for Pace and bringing in number 28. And one more for the Lady Bears. I believe that's number 11, Claire Throp.
Now back at the face off. This one popped up, scooped up by the Lady Bears. Possession one, they hurry back. Circles around. There's a shot up, finds the back of the net. Sydney Wilkinson with her second. Wins a face off, takes it for a walk around the net. Goes back far side and scores a goal here for the Lady Bears. And she'll go back to center here for the face off. The sun pokes out again from the clouds. 10% of precipitation went away. But the first of this one got kind of cloudy. It's all cleared up now. Lady, Lady Bears. We go to the near side. Cut back in. And now she'll get it knocked down from her. Ground ball still on the ground. And penalty. We'll go against Payson. No, oh, excuse me. I'll go against the uh, Lady Bears. Number 10, Riley Chapman. So the Lions will work it back. This one passed ahead. Ground ball still on the ground. And now the Lady Bears out of the possession. Here's a pass over to Wilkinson. She'll get tripped up, and there's the whistle. Wilkinson with a whole head of steam. Gets a trip on Payson. They'll resume play here with Wilkinson. Wilkinson again, back around the net. Pass the head, still on the ground. There's a Ball rolls to the goal. I don't think anybody really shot that one. Recovered by the Lady Bears. Pass at the center, and it's taken away by Payson. Jardine will pass it ahead here for Payson. Staley scoops it up off the ground. Try to clear it out. Ball bounces around. And a whistle will stop play. Hannah with Payson gets a shot and there's another goal here for the Payson Lions. Hannah Hanslet gets number two on the board here for Payson. Substitution here for the Lady Bears. Going to bring in number 69, Crystal Potter. <laughs> Phoenix Hayes will check out for the Lady Bears. Bjorn back to do the faceoff here at midfield. Lady 
Three Bears get the possession off the face off. They work it to pace inside of the field. Splits the defense, good move. Here's a shot, and it goes. Brooklyn Paulson puts one in for the Lady Bears. Splits the defense, looks pretty. Twelve to two here for the Lady Bears. Here in the second half. Face off again here in the midfield. Ball up. <laughs> Haley trying to scoop it up and a whistle. Whistle comes from the far side, Judge. They say possession will go to. Pace and Haley with it here for the Lions. <laughs> Hannah before the shot, a whistle. <laughs> and Hannah will get a free shot. She's got two already. Here for Payson, trying to make it a third. Hannah Haslett, there's a whistle, she drives in. Here's a shot and there's goal number three. And they're going to say no goal. They wave it off and a penalty. The penalty will go against the Lady Bears, I believe. And you know, all they say it goes against Payson. Took off probably before the whistle, so she'll go by. So behind the net she will go, and the Lady Bears will have the possession back in a play. Yost trying to fight for it. If we're pacing, the Lady Bears still trying to pick it up. Olsen clears it out, midfield. Lady Bears dig out the ground ball, far side. Now works it back to the center. Pass a little too far, scooped up. Lady Bear still has it. Sent on the field. She'll clear it back out. Going on the dryer. Stop, change direction. Here's a no look shot. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Lady Bears. What did they call penalty before that? And they do. Penalty on pace and so Bjorn with a good opportunity here for the Lady Bears. Add another one to the lead. Bailey 
going with the possession here for the Lady Bears and the free shot. Here's the whistle. There's the shot. And it goes wide. Out of bounds. It'll stay here with the Lady Bears behind the net. Back in a play. Here's a quick. Tries to get it back to Bjorn. Now passed over to the near side. Here's dead with it. Near side. Waits for the offense to set up. Layers it back to Bjorn. Bailey, here's the drive. Here's a shot on the ground and a good save. Blocked by Kirstead. Kirstead still on the fight, and there's a whistle. Possession to Payson. One cleared out here for pacing ground ball still on the ground and a whistle. Position goes to the Lady Bears. Lacroix with the possession here for the Lady Bears. There's a sh Thought it was a push, but no call. Now here's a whistle as two more players hit the grass, and the possession will go back to Payson. <laughs> Sophia, far side. What a block by 22. Payson still working it up this sideline. Everybody hitting the dirt. And yeah, there's there's the there's the whistle as you got three players down on the dirt trying to fight for the ball. Far side possession will go to the Lady Bears. Bjorn will have the possession here for Bear River. Bjorn still with it, working down the sideline here for the Lady Bears. Defense is closing in, now the Lady Bears will slow it down. And from behind gets it knocked loose. Pays him with the steal. They go back far side, no whistle. They saw a call push on the Lady Bears. So Payson still with the possession. They push it ahead. Lady Bears. Here's a pass to the center. Here's a shot and a whistle before the shot. Now whistle goes against the Lady Bears. So number seven with the clean shot here for Payson. Carol Yost. All the way for the whistle. Yost taking on Larson. Carol will drive in. Here's a shot. And it's blocked away. Bears regain possession. Oh, 
Chapman scoops it back up off the ground. Trying to go center. Pass doesn't get there now, taken away by Payson. Drops ground ball again. And a whistle. To stop play. Payson will keep with the possession. Still on the ground, somebody's trying to fight for it. Lady Bears come up with it. Tabitha looking for somewhere to go. She tries to get it over near side. Ground ball scooped up again by the Lady Bears. Here's a good move, but loses the ball. Howard scoops it back up again for the Lady Bears. There's a pass knocked down by Payson, scooped up. Here's a steal. She'll lose it, try to scoop it back up on the run. Everybody's trying to dig it up out of the ground and a whistle. Possession will go to Payson. Knight will lose the possession here for Payson, taken away by the Lady Bears. LaCroix will pass ahead. Lady Bears still trying to scoop it up, and they do. Sydney Cummings runs into some traffic, and the ball's on the ground again. There's a good steal by Payson. Pass intercepted. Jacobson with a steal, coming back the other way, gonna pass it ahead. Pass goes long to Staley. Lady Bears trying now to regain possession, and they do, far side. Haynes passes into the center, knocked down. There's a shot and a block. And there's gonna be a penalty and they should call that on Payson, but they're gonna call it on the Lady Bears. Page will get us started again here for the Pace and Lions. This pass doesn't. And a timeout called by the refs. She'll instruct where the subs need to be. They're a little too close to the field. Well, again, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making this possible. We'd like to thank you for supporting us by watching. They're only going to get better from here. Okay, in the first game of the season. Not to mention, it's a lot colder than I anticipated it being. Pace will have the possession once we get back underway. And 
Back to play, Payson loses it on the sideline, out of bounds, and possession will go to the Lady Bears. Bentley Lorimer, far side with it here for the Lady Bears. She'll lose it, scoop back up. There's a shot. Over to Sydney. There's a spin move, loses it, pop back up. Still on the ground, gonna be scooped up. By the Lady Bears, pass to the middle. And Payson will take over on the possession. And that's going to be your final in this one. The Lady Bears with a win over the Payson Lions for the first game of the season. Wrapping up the final cookie crumble half here in this one for your Lady Bears win. You can go get the Nutella mudslide, raspberry cheesecake, macadamia nut, ultimate peanut butter, and, and as always, chocolate chip and chilled sugar. We'd like to thank all the sponsors right there on your screen. We'd like to thank the Pied Up, BRV News, the Valley Headliner. We'd like to thank Utah State University, Col Coldwell Banker, Andy Marchant Photography, Lincoln Financial, Kent Market. We'd like to thank Cover Up, Soda Fix, Frick May Skidoo, Chen Chair, Sod Farms, Crumble Cookie again, CNR for your replays, The Grill, Academy Mortgage, Greer's Do It Best Hardware, Tanglewood Studio. I think I got them all. Six goals for Kirstead. We'll give her our Sotafix player of the game. Your final on this one, Lady Bears 12, Payson Lions 2. Good way to kick off the season here for the Lady Bears. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon for Bear Bear Soccer as we travel to Box Elder. You've been watching Bear Bear Live.